Hi, my name is Jeremiah Grossman, founder and CTO of White Hat Security. And today I'm going to show you how a website can de-anonymize a person that visits that website using nothing more than a mouse click. The attack technique I'm going to show you is a variation of clickjacking called Facebook like jacking, but we can also apply it to Twitter as we'll see in a second. So right now what you're going to see is that my browser is currently logged into both Facebook and also Twitter. That's a precondition of, for this attack to work. So right now, we're going to reload this page, and this page is on the hacker website, but it doubles as any other website that you might come across out there. So let me hit reload here, and you'll see a like button show up. And what you'll also find is that this like button follows the mouse around the screen. Now normally, if there was a live exploit, this button would be transparent. You wouldn't see it. And the user would click on something like a link or an image, anything else, and they would click, and they would automatically like something that the bad guy wanted them to like. And because the bad guy is in control of what the user has liked, they can actually see who liked that particular link or whatever it was. And because they know who liked it and who clicked the button last, they can then uncover who that person was and, and extract their profile information publicly. So right now I'm on hacker.com. I just gave one click because I'm logged into Facebook and it's able to glean all the public you know, pictures that I put up on my Facebook profile and my name and my username on Facebook and my last name and my ID and just about anything else that's publicly available. So it's really simple to do, just one click and it's de-anonymized. All you have to do is be logged into Facebook. And this is not just a problem in, in Facebook, but it's any other website out there that has similar behavior. So one such example I'm going to use is uh, Twitter. So Twitter, just like the like buttons, they have these little Twitter follow buttons. You know, I just made some JavaScript code that follows the mouse, follow, that makes the button follow the mouse around. I'm going to click, and that's all there really is to it. Once the follow happens, the backend code will look at uh, the user and see, you know, who the last follower was. In this case, it was me, Jeremiah, and it's able to find out my name, my screen name, my location, and, and anything else that it wants. And it's publicly, then it can, you know, if you want to, you can go into the treat stream and learn more information. So that's really all there is to it. One click and you're de-anonymized. 